Okay, so this is my solution to the slight power drain problem, which uh, I've been experiencing over winter on this caravan. Basically, the caravan's using a small amount of power to um, operate the alarm system, even though everything else is turned off. So the alarm's drawing about 0.2 amps, which makes the battery go flat after about three and a half weeks. So we've got a 100 watt flexible solar panel. It's really thin, fits very nicely onto the reef. Only weighs about one kilo. Got cable entry box there, which is sort of sealed onto the reef. Caravan is uh, the panel is stuck onto the reef of the caravan using this stuff called um, Sikaflex. It's sort of like a, a flexible adhesive, which maintains some elasticity. So stuff like no more nails is way too hard when it's set. Okay, so this is where I've bought the cables inside the caravan. Um, they come basically through the roof, just behind this uh, casing here. I've actually kept the positive supply cable from the solar panel outside the casing so that I can disconnect it on the MC4s and uh, disconnect the solar supply from the charge controller if I need to. Uh, so the solar cables then run all the way down the back wall here behind this casing down to the charge controller which is located here so this is where the uh, battery is so I've deliberately put the solar panel on the roof on the same side of the caravan as where the battery compartment is so that when the cables come out at the bottom you know, I've not, the, the cable runs are kept as short as possible between the panel, the charge controller and the battery um, so these are the solar cables that come into the charge controller this is the battery cable out of the charge controller, which I've actually connected up to a positive supply cable to the motor mover electrics. Um, by doing that, it means I don't need to run a new set of cables into the battery compartment. I've run it through a um, inline fuse as well, just to protect this length of cable basically between the this live and the charge controller. The negative side, I've actually connected up to the um, external cigarette light socket, so that's the, the positive and negative connection to the battery. So here on the charge controller, we've gone for the EP Ever MPPT charge controller, as that's much higher efficiency than standard PWM controllers. We we'll just quickly flip through the screens, so you've got two point. 5 amps coming off the solar at the moment. This is a 100 watt panel on the roof, so that should be anything between about 4 and 5.5 five and amps at full generation. This battery is actually quite full at the moment, which is why there's slightly less current going into the battery. So I've got 3.1 amps on the cable from the charge controller to the battery there at the moment. We've got battery temperature. Uh, there's no load connected on this charge controller at the moment. So it's going back through, we've got 18 volts on the solar, 2.5 amps, 13.9 volts, which is the charge voltage on the battery at the moment. 3.1 amps in the battery cable. The main figures that you need just to confirm that it's all working okay. Obviously we've got the diagram here which shows the uh, solar is going into the battery and it's going from the battery into a load which I can actually switch off here. So that button on this charge controller actually controls the load outlet through these two terminals which I've not needed to connect. So it's just solar into the battery.